Hey everybody, Just Stone here with day 43 of the year 2015 at magicreview.com. We're checking out Creating Theatrical Magic by Max Howard. Um, this is a true story about a real guy back in, who served in the Civil War named Augustus uh, Reich, R-E-I-C-H, I believe. And he also happened to be a magician who performed um, for some big players back in the Civil War. And he was just, he was a, um, you know, a magician and he was in the, the band and the military and, and everything. And so this is a real guy. Hundred-ish years later, uh, these two characters right here, uh, Max Howard and his wife, Diane Bray, they um, discovered uh, this guy, Augustus Reich. They've, uh, they found out about him and they learned about him and they eventually became him, or at least Max did. And uh, his wife, Diane, became uh, Jim Bailey, who is um, based on a real person in the real Gus's life. So they now have their great Southern Sleight of Hand show which is them in full uh, period uh, costume, if you will, performing as the Gus Rich was his stage name, Augustus Reich, uh, as Gus Rich and Jim Bailey. And so it's this is their show, and you get a DVD that comes with the book that you get to see two performances of the show from start to finish, and there's commentary in between on one of the shows from Max Howard telling you, you know, why he chose this and why we did this in this part of the show and so on. And then also you get um, the uh, explanation for two of the effects, wand and bottle and uh, the coins across routine that he does. Now you get those explanations just uh, on the DVD. The rest of the explanations are actually in the book. The reason those are on the DVD is just because they're a little bit more intense and a little bit more involved. But this book is not about learning tricks. It's about doing magic not tricks magic the stuff in max slash gus's repertoire is stuff that you may never do and a lot of it's old stuff you know the die box and the card in orange and stuff that was in tarbell and you know just old stuff it's stuff that we may never do um and but the reason why max slash gus does it is because the real gus <coughs> <coughs> excuse me the real Gus actually did the die box. In fact, the real Gus actually made his own die box and used that. He was also a tinsmith, and this guy was a jack of all trades here. So that's why that is why Max Howard does the die box because Max Howard is Gus, and the real Gus used the die box. So this book, what you're getting, the first section of it is sort of um, a biography of Max and. His acting career and his performance career and his part of his magic career and then how he met his wife and everything and then the next part is actually the or, and, or, and they also cover how he quote met Gus you know 100 years later how he learned about him and who he was and everything then the next part is um, it's the script that they use in their their show word for word the script with notations and everything so that we can learn why did Max and Diane choose to say or do what they said or did at this point in the script? And then following that is another script. It's the exact same script uh, again, but this time it breaks down the effects and how they're done. And, and uh, not in uh, a great amount of detail, but enough detail that you, um, they're probably things you already know anyway. But they also send you off to references where you can learn more about them. But again, the whole point of this book is not to teach you how to do the tricks that they did. That's if you're if that's why you're buying the book, you bought it for the wrong reason. What this book does is teaches you how did they become these characters? What was their journey to get there? And what you learn by watching their experience is how do I become a, a character? And, and it, again, you don't have to become Gus Reich, a rich, you don't have to become him. I don't, and I, I'm not the kind of a performer, I'm just a version of myself when I'm on stage, a, a more elaborate and maybe funnier or more sarcastic version of myself on stage but that is a character it's me so how do i be more like me how do i be the the right kind of me for how do i find the right material for me that's the kind of thing you're going to learn by watching these guys 
do this and and uh, and you see their journey from start to finish and as you watch and follow along with their journey you're going to learn how to do that yourself how to become now if you're trying to create a character you know there's plenty of guys out there that like for example Max Maven you know he he is a character that he that he performs as and so if I not that Max Maven needs this book but if he did what he would learn from this book is how to what tricks does Max Maven do? What kind of tricks fit in his repertoire? Why doesn't Max Maven do the sponge balls, right? That's the kind of thing that you, you learn. This whole book is about the question, why? Why do you do or not do this effect? Or why do you say or not say this thing? What kinds of things do you talk about in your show? And none of this is an outline of Max Howard saying, Okay, here's what you do next. Here's step two. Here's step three. Here's step four. Here's how you become a character. It's not that. You're learning by example. You're learning by watching his journey. So after the two scripts, then there's an, an interview where Larry Haas interviews Diane uh, Bray and Max Howard, and you get more insight into why they chose what they did. And at the very end, there's like a little scrapbook kind of that's got photographs of actually of actual props that were actually belonging to Gus. The real Gus. Um, there's newspaper clippings. There's letters that he wrote when he was on the road, and all kinds of different things. It's kind of cool. So you get some insight into uh, who he was, and that's how they helped to develop themselves as that character. Um, so now, keep in mind, uh, I did not finish the appendix slash scrapbook section. I didn't read that whole section. I just skimmed through it to get a sense of what it was, and I read part of it. Uh, but the rest of the book, which is the meat of the book, which is all about um, their journey and how they became <coughs> him and how this whole thing happened that I did read and it's excellent and the bottom line is this if you're looking to to create a character and, and I don't mean necessarily completely changing who you are but you need you need a person a persona when you perform even if that persona is just you you need to know who that is and you need to know what kind of tricks does that guy do and uh, and why does he do them and so forth you need to know that and so this will take your magic to the next level this will take you from just a guy who does like 10 tricks in a row to a guy who has strung together a routine uh, a performance piece a magical piece of theater that happens to use these several tricks to, to bring everything together and so what you'll see in this performance by um Gus, Max Howard Gus, um, is he's he's a very the, the real Gus is um, he served in the uh, in the Civil War, and he is a very proud patriot and proud to have served his country, and you get to see throughout the show that patriotism comes out in some of the effects and some of the little monologues in between the effects, and he times everything just right just to get. You know, to plant the seed here for this next thing he's going to say that may be a little bit more controversial. And all these little things that he did that that made it to where, I mean, literally every single thing that that Gus slash Max says in the show is calculated. And it's there for a reason. And they had a reason to do it. And so the whole thing comes together in this beautiful piece of theater. It's a full evening show. And uh, in the this show, you're going to get hit over the head with some of Gus's political viewpoints. And they they are, I, I guarantee you that some people might, I don't know if offended is the right word, but they, they would certainly feel they're controversial. But Gus is able to do it and get away with it. Get away with it, maybe it's not the best way to say it, but he's able to get away with it because they love Gus. And that is the key, guys. And that is what you learn is how to th get your audience to love you. And again, this is not a step-by-step -step book that says, okay, step one in getting your audience to love you, do this. Now, it's more like, all right, I'm just going to read this whole thing and, and watch their journey and learn what they did and try to gain some wisdom from their knowledge and experience and their wisdom and, and, um, and, and I'm going to just learn from their example. That's what you're going to get out of this book. So... If you're trying to turn your tricks into something more magical and meaningful, you cannot, I cannot recommend this high enough. I mean, I just can't. It's just an amazing book. Um, so, and one other thing I'll tell you, I don't know if you're familiar with the Siberian Chain Escape. Uh, I mean, it came in, I had an old magic kit from Adams, I think. 
and it came in the kit and it was inside of a little match box about about the size of the larger boxes of matches it was just all white and it had a black rabbit on it which i think was the adams logo and inside of it was the chain that you would use for the chain escape uh i don't even know if anybody even does that trick anymore but gus here does it um max as gus does it and i guarantee you you've never seen a more dramatic more powerful more moving rendition of that effect anywhere that's just my own opinion but i'm telling you it was beautiful it actually was very moving and it's a very powerful story and it's when he starts to dip into that um um his viewpoints and about the war and about the and his patriotic viewpoints and so forth very very powerful stuff and again the purpose of this book is not for you to learn how to do the siberian chain escape the way gus did in fact you can't do it that way because you're not gus and you weren't in the civil war and the way he does it has everything to do with the fact that this guy was in the civil war so you can't even do it that way but what you learn by example is how to take a simple trick like that that is basically self-working and how to turn it into something that's beautiful and powerful and moving and that is the essence of what you're getting here this book will teach you how to ask the question why it also teaches you how to answer it all this is done by example but i think more importantly than answering the why it's teaching you to ask why none of us too too many of us don't ask the question why often enough and hopefully after reading this book you will be inspired to do just that ask the question why and then seek for answers to that five stars stone status of capital g capital e capital freaking m jim that's right so that's it for this review it's time for you to like this video subscribe to my channel and listen to the random itunes song of the moment today and it is taylor swift again man this is off of her uh speak now um live world tour i'll let you listen to it for a second here uh mine anyway yeah as you know that taylor swift's got i got a lot of her songs on my playlist so i'll put a link to that in the description below and uh tomorrow friday tune in for dun 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 sizzle by john freaking bannon that's right I've already previewed this and um, and I'll just say it's Bannon. I'm a fan. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and if you have no clue what I'm saying, you'll find out tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you then. Peace out.